Update the official Borderlands Twitter account has been busy tweeting additional details since the announcement went live. According to those tweets, not only will the game also have DualShock 4 support, but they've also hinted that more Borderlands games could be coming. In reply to a question from a fan, the account tweeted, Just Borderlands to 4 now which leaves us excited for potential future VR ports. You can pre-order the game right now ahead of its December 14th release for 49.99. Original talk about a surprise announcement for a random October morning Gearbox is bringing Borderlands to VR to PSVR on December 14. The VR version of the acclaimed looter shooter will introduce the entire game, with brand new bullet time mechanics, and enhanced gameplay to take advantage of the new medium. There's no word on if Borderlands to VR will come to other headsets on the same date or in the future. So as of now it's looking like a super exclusive. In the PS blog post, Brian Burleson, producer at Gearbox, mentions PS Move controller support, but not PS Aim controller support unfortunately. Also, this will apparently be a single-player only iteration of the game. In fact, they're redoing all of the skill trees to replace any coup focused abilities. Other than that, it seems like the full game. The bright, stylized art style will lend itself well to VR, so hopefully that means the game is able to make a smooth transition. Borderlands 2 is originally a PS3's Box 360 game, before its PS4 port a few years ago. In the trailer above we can see teleportation movement and it looks like smooth movement in a few sections hopefully smooth artificial movement will be an option instead of only teleporting. Although, multiplayer is a huge staple of what makes the game so great. Personally, I've never once played through a Borderlands game entirely alone because of how fun and addictive the coop has always been. Comboing abilities together. Fighting over loot and wreaking havoc across Pandora is the heart and soul of Borderlands. I'm not sure how much fun the game will be going at solo, but we only have to wait about two months to find out. It's also interesting that Gearbox is choosing to skip the first game and pre-sequel to just port the second iteration. I'm not complaining though, since it's generally considered the best one. What do you think of the news I'm excited to get up close and personal with Claptrap later this year? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Travelers today marks the first day that we can finally talk about Borderlands to VR. It's a moment we think will have fans joy puking their faces off. It all starts December 14th, when Borderlands to VR launches on PSVR. And we didn't just cram Borderlands into a headset and call it a day, we did copious research into how VR plays best to update the experience you can now fully sink your eyes into the wild and make them fill world of Pandora with newer specific mechanics and skills. As soon as we brought the game to PS4 as part of the Handsome Collection in 2016, our brains immediately began cranking on how we could bring the experience to VR and take advantage of PSVR's capabilities. We all have spent years immersed in the world and these characters, so we were excited to utilize the PSVR to bring everyone in even deeper. The biggest new feature of Borderlands to VR is our take on bullet time, called BAMF Time. Activating BAMF Time will give you the speed and reflexes of a rapid stab, allowing you to dodge bullets, pull off 360 scope headshots, and even use your action skill to fight off hordes of bandits, bully mongs, and whatever else Pandora might throw at you. The original four playable vault hunters from Borderlands 2 are back, along with their special abilities and BAMF modified skill trees. We added in the AMF time upgrades to previous abilities, like Xer OS, Deathmark, which marks targets for additional damage but now also restores 2 seconds of BAMF time per marked kill. And since Borderlands to VR is a single player experience, we updated previous skills that relied on a coup partner such as Mayo's Ray's ability, which now is called Empathy causing face lock to deplete half your current health, damaging enemies based on how much health you lost, and doubling healing during BAMS time. Another net twist you'll find in Borderlands to VR is the fact that for the first time ever, you'll be driving vehicles and racking up the road kill count from a first-person perspective. While accelerating and steering with the PlayStation Move motion controllers, players will be able to aim the vehicle's guns with their heads set. Experience firsthand the sublime exhilaration of driving one way and looking another lose yourself in the roar of the engine, the Pandoran landscape, the wind and viscera in your hair as you mow down your enemies all from the comfort of your own home. We first introduced the lawless and chaotic world of Pandora with Borderlands in 2009 and with Borderlands 2 in 2012. We set out to deliver more guns, more action, and even more awesome. 
The response from the community was overwhelming and humbling. We think it's the mix of action, humor, style, and heart that added up to Borderlands' own brand of fun. To now bring that spicy special sauce up close at personal in the VR world is beyond what we could have ever hoped for all those years ago. Borderlands to VR launches on December 14th. We're excited to go back home to Pandora for the holidays. And we hope you are too. All aboard the puke train.